So I have this layer with a lot of text on it and vertically it goes off the screen but as you can see I can't scroll down to the bottom to see the rest of it. So in this video I'm going to show you how to edit the XML layout file in order to get a vertical scroll. So just open up your layout file and go over to the text. So all you have to do is wrap the entire area that you want scrollable in a scroll view. So you can see that this entire thing is wrapped in a relative layout and I'm just going to change that to be a scroll view. and then replace the closing tag as well. Now the problem with this is a scroll view can only have one direct child. So if you had multiple widgets inside here it wouldn't work. So what you typically do is you wrap a scroll view around a layout which wraps around all your widgets. So I'm just going to create the relative layout that we just replaced previously with the scroll view and I'm going to keep the layout properties the same as they were previously. So up here they were match parent and just keep those the same and move the closing tag down here. So all I did was change the parent tag to a scroll view, created a new relative layout or whatever the previous parent tag was, and all of the parent tag attributes should remain the same. And now if you go back to the design, you can see that this entire thing is just a lot longer. It's just to show that everything is viewable now. And if I run it on the Android emulator, I'll show you that it's scrollable. So here it is, and notice that I can now scroll all the way to the bottom. So let's say you didn't want the entire screen to be scrollable. Let's say you just wanted one text view like this or some little area to be scrollable and you don't want this button scrolling down as well because then it's not visible throughout the whole thing. You just want this area to be scrollable. So what you would do is only wrap this area in the scroll view. So go over to the text and we just want this text view to be wrapped in a scroll view. Let's make a scroll view tag and we're going to have to give it the width and height properties and we'll keep that the same as the text view that we're wrapping it in. Uh, indent this text view a bit and wrap the entire thing in the scroll view. Now all of the layout properties should be in the scroll view because that's the parent tag and the layout properties are relative to the other widgets which is now closer to the scroll view than it is the text view. So put all the layout properties that were in the text view inside the scroll view instead. Just be aware that the padding and margin properties also count as layout properties so include those in the scroll view as well instead of the text view and every widget needs to have layout width and layout height properties so that's why they're duplicated for the scroll view and the text view. So it'll just look like this and I'll run it in the Android emulator to show you that it works. And you can see that just the text view is scrollable now and the button doesn't move with it. And there you go, that's how you make a screen scrollable on Android.